explain frequency modulation that is fm when the frequency of carrier wave is changed in accordance with the intensity of the signal this process is called frequency modulation in frequency modulation the amplitude and phase of the carrier wave remains constant only the frequency of the carrier wave is changed in accordance with the signal the frequency variation of the carrier wave depends on the instantaneous amplitude of the signal as shown when the signal voltage is zero at a c e and g the carrier frequency is unchanged when the signal approaches its positive peaks at b and f the carrier frequency is increased to maximum as shown by closely spaced cycles but during the negative peak of signal as at d the carrier frequency is reduced to minimum as shown by widely spaced cycles the louder signal causes greater frequency change in modulated carrier as indicated by increased bunching and speeding of the waves as compared with relatively weaker signal the frequency of an fm transmitter without signal input is called the resting frequency or center frequency f not and this is the allotted frequency of the transmitter when the signal is applied the carrier frequency deviates up and down from its resting value f not the change or shift either above or below the resting frequency is called frequency deviation del f the total variation in frequency from the lowest to the highest is called carrier swing cs hence carrier swing is equal to 2 into frequency deviation so 2 into del f for the purposes of fm broadcast it has been internationally agreed to restrict maximum deviation to 75 kilohertz on each side of the center frequency for sounds of maximum loudness